Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just went out to my recycling box and I found this. I get comments on my mini vending machine video almost daily, maybe even a couple of times a day asking me to do other ones. And today is the day because look, it even has a little built in screen. How amazing is that? So I thought I'm gonna turn this into a mini vending machine. You can obviously use whatever box you have. I have this one, like I said, um, just from my boyfriend eating this pie. I don't even eat steak myself or ale uh, for that matter, but this comes from Little in case you're looking for a good pie. Apparently it's very nice. So yeah, this is the one I'm gonna decorate today. If you don't obviously have one, just wanna use a normal box, we'd recommend just cutting out a hole and putting a bit of cellophane in like so, and that'll give us the same kind of starting point. But anyway, let's get started. So I made this over Easter weekend. So naturally the cardboard that I was using is actually an old Easter egg, but Box that I ate so good I loved it and anyway, what I went ahead and did was I made a little tube out of the cardboard Easter egg kind of packaging I just rolled it around a rolling pin taped it down into place until I was happy with the size I then just measured that out against my pie box in kind of length and then I went around the diameter of the tube and made a little hole so that it went in sideways like so to keep that from slipping down through the tube I just made this little support by again taking some of that cardboard just cutting little kind of tabs in one one side then hot gluing that around the tube so that that was able to hold the tube into place so it wouldn't slip down anymore so this tube is actually going to be the thing that carries the charm from the top of the vending machine down to the prize slot so you need to make a little slot for the charms to fit in i made mine roughly around about an inch in size i just cut that hole from the middle of the kind of tube and then i just covered that in another piece of cardboard so that it was all nice and white and bright and it wasn't having the easter egg pattern on i blocked off either end just by creating these little circles hot gluing them into place and cutting that down I then created two little supports to put inside so that that would basically funnel the charms down in a diagonal. So these little bits here I did put in at a diagonal just so that they would hold the charms into place and then they would obviously funnel on down into that little kind of tube and then you'll be able to get them out. In order to obviously get the charms out we needed a little prize hole so I just cut a little hole out I did a little square shape but then I realised that charms could essentially go in behind that tube and that's not what I wanted so I put a little bit of cardboard in there to prevent that from happening. Once I had done that, I then cut out another little slot. This was the money slot because, you know, if someone's going to come around and use your vending machine, you're going to need them to put some money in. I then made another little support down this side, just between that money slot and the window itself. And that is basically to stop any of the charms falling out that side of the vending machine. To collect the money in the vending machine, I needed a little box. So I just created that out of an old, like, delivery box I had for my alcohol weights. And I just cut that down to size, glued it into place. Once I was happy with that, I created a little hole in the side so that when you put the money into the slot, it then goes into the hole of this little box and you're able to collect the money in there. You're then able to obviously put it in, take it out as much as you want to. I mean, this step is completely optional because the money slot doesn't actually, you know, need to be there in order for the vending machine to work, but I think it always looks the best. You just need a money slot for a vending machine, okay? Whether it's kind of functional or not, I just think you need one. Anyway, I went ahead and just taped down one of the sides, so the opposite side to the money one because I didn't need to access that side anymore. And once I had done that, I then moved on to decorating. So to decorate my vending machine, I wanted this to kind of be like a toast-like shape. You probably would have seen it in the thumbnail already. But in order to get this, I ended up cutting a toilet roll tube just in half. And then I just hot glued that to the top. I then took another piece of scrap cardboard. This is just repurposing an old like envelope that I had through the post recently and I ended up cutting a long strip of that securing it to one of the edges then hot glued over one of the rolls and I just rolled that cardboard over it so that it created a nice curve over and under and then I did the same on the other side creating this nice smooth bread like shape in order to stick down this part I just created two tabs just to measure it where I needed it to be cut it off and folded it over this created a nice little lip so that I was able to just glue that down into place on top of of the kind of pie box and it was all nice and lined up and neat and it was looking amazing in order to like obviously cover up the fact that I used toilet tubes and to make it more solid I just created and cut like the exact same shape out onto another piece of scrap cardboard again just traced around that cut it out and glued it right onto the front and I did the exact same on the back just using some hot glue next to make this all one complete solid shape what i then did was took some toilet paper itself and some 
um, PVA glue and water mixed in 50-50 ratio and I just paper mache over the whole entire thing obviously not going over the little window the um, like tiny tube thing and the prize shoot and the money shoot because obviously we need those bits but yeah I just wanted to do this so that it was all uniform and a nice texture all over it kind of blended those seams in better and that's pretty much what I had a what I did and then I left it to dry overnight. I did make sure to just go round the door on the left of the pie box so that that I was still able to open and this was obviously to refill to the charms and then take the money out. You do want to be able to do that so don't paper mache over that opening. Anyway once my paper mache was then dry like I said I left it overnight I then went ahead and painted it in this nice light beige colour then went in with a slightly darker brown shade and created like the crust like effect of the bread. I painted all the sides and everything with that colour. In order to smooth that down and make it a little bit more kind of like put together I ended up coating this in a matte varnish the one i used um, was a liquitex one i really really like this and that's what i went ahead and did once i was happy with that it was all dried down i then moved on to decorating even further so i ended up making the twisty tube by into like a little baguette boy basically by making this little support again with some tabs hot gluing that onto the original kind of twisty turny bit that i made and then i just hot glued down this little bean shape but this is going to be turned into a baguette <laughs> i cut off any of the excess tabs and then just painted that to look like a baguette basically it was already brown but you know i matched it to the crust and stuff of the rest of the vending machine and i think that looks a lot better added on the details such as the little baguette kind of like cuts and slits on them and then i did a little face as well really really like that thought it turned out absolutely adorable <laughs> and i also added some white detailing to the little twisty turning bit as well so that you know what direction that you're going to be turning the little knob I then added some extra little white details and I did leave that to dry and then I went ahead and created the face for the running machine. I wanted a face to be quite 3D and quite like um, prominent on it so I actually made this out of polymer clay. I just sculpted these pieces really really simply, put them into the oven. Once out of the oven then I painted them with acrylic paint like so, the eyes obviously being in white, the lips in a nice light pink and then I added the pupils in a nice dark brown went back to the vending machine once these were all painted and then I just super glued those down into place so that they were nice and secure and again I went back to decorating the actual vending machine itself. So I decided I needed some text across the top so taking the same pink that I used for the lips I just freehanded the word charms on it. I do tend to do my text painting upside down I'm not sure why I do that I think I just get a neater finish but that's what I did and again in with a tiny paintbrush and the white acrylic I added like line art around the text I added a few little sparkles all over it and then I also painted on the word prize about the bottom this is out the same dark brown as the pupils of the vending machine as well as the little face on the baguette and that kind of you know it kind of just all fitted in i really really liked it then added a few more details on so like it changed the price in because one pound who am i kidding yeah <laughs> i mean i know i don't have to get it anyway but i mean minimum of 10 pounds so i changed that up to 10 pounds and i really really like the way that that went across the window as well didn't fit right in obviously where on the actual vending machine but i think i like it even better so to create the last and final piece i then made that this little felt curtain just use some scalloped edge scissors on some wool felt and cut those upward so that i was yeah basically left with a little curtain i hot glued that onto place so that it was glued on the inside of the vending machine and then i was done okay so now that the vending machine is done you can see this little bit here it kind of turns all the way around so that the charms then will fall down into there and then you could just twist it and then you can get your little prize out here through the little felt curtain bit i changed this like this was a one pound sign i changed it to 10 pounds because that's pretty much how much my charms cost on my actual shop so i thought that was a little bit more apt and i like the way that the white acrylic then went across like the little window bit i just really really like that and especially for display like because this is just going to be display for myself i thought 
like I would do it the way that I kind of want it and yeah very happy with that I love 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 the big face on here love the text up there and I love the fact that I put the little bugger on the little twisty turn bit I don't know I just really really like that so in the side I actually left this bit here so that I could open it up again as you can see so then obviously we could take the money out and we can also put the charms in so if you just remove this box which obviously collects any coins that get put in I did end up putting a little slot in here in the big kind of divider so that then I could add my charms in through there so i just got a little kind of um mini strawberry sugar shrimp charm i just pop that in i've got some little like bread charms here which are like pig's bakery ones and i'll pop them in i could just store loads of my charms in i got a popcorn a tiger another little mini sugar shrimp i've got a little gingerbread i'm just gonna put them all in and i've also got some secret charms here which i will be bringing to my shop very soon which i don't think i've shown really loads so we've got a couple of these little teletubbies they don't have any like attachments yet but they'll be fine in there let's put them in and then i've also got <laughs> some little ogre babies so like based on shrek and fiona look at them so cute these are like one of my favorite times i've ever made put them in and then i've got these guys which are little love bugs look at these they are so 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 tiny and cute i absolutely adore them they've got little hearts on and everything so they're going in and then i'm also gonna have two little kirby cars because i have two of these left so these are also going in <laughs> and um yeah i'm just gonna fill it all up look at it going in there just all those charms look how amazing is that so this is just going to display all my favorite charms oh the money box on my desk and it also serves as a little functional thing so if someone comes by at my little art studio at home like any of my friends or family I'm like put 10 pounds in take your pick just turn the little baguette boy and one will pop out who did we get um i actually don't know who this is going to be oh it's an <laughs> <laughs> it's a little love bug a little pink one so yeah the more i turn this around it's just going to collect one in the little kind of divider spin it round you forgot this time um the little tiger look at that <laughs> so cute i could do this all day like who do we get we've got now oh i didn't spin it enough um <laughs> <laughs> shrek okay like i could do this all day but i'm gonna put those back in put it up on my shelf for display and yeah there it is i'm so so happy with it i think it just turned out absolutely gorgeous it's just gonna display all my little charms which i love in such a cute way as well so yeah thank you so much for joining in today or tuning in maybe if you make it tag me on instagram that sort of stuff i would love to see your recreations thank you so much for watching please give this video a like subscribe on your way out and i'll see you very soon for another video Bye.